Hello, my name is Dr. Paris and I'm the Deputy Principal of Freeman Elizabeth City High School. Today we'll be looking at um, documenting and implementation. Now we've actually designed the game. So the game's been designed. Um, and what we need to do is to document it. Now, if you recall our documentation, um, we did a documentation. Uh, we started off with a title page. We've done our content page. That content page numbers will change towards the end. We can do it at the end when we finish that documentation. There's the analysis section we, we wrote out first. Here's the design section involving two parts the storyboard. We did a sketch there took a picture on the camera and our smartphone and inserted the picture there and wrote some ideas. Uh, part of the design also was the pseudocode and we did some pseudocode of how the stages may look. Uh, we did that and then we went ahead and we actually built it uh, making sure we covered those stages. We designed our characters, designed our scenes, created navigation, created the animation, created the sound effects and we come with our final product which we see here okay so what we need to do now in this section is provide uh, screenshots of our development so the first thing to do is you go to your first scene you start it off here we start off and then we do a screen print screen on the keyboard hit print screen on the keyboard and then we insert the picture, once we save it we can insert the picture in our documentation now I've already saved it, so if I go to insert picture um, I can insert the picture in there I've actually tripped it with Photoshop there's our picture, now notice that picture is way too big um, if I click on the picture, I could drop that down to a height of 5 and uh, Oh, got it in the wrong place. Let's just cut that out. Cut that out. Let's start again. Got it in the wrong place. Uh, go back down to where we were supposed to go. In here. There we go. So we've got the insert picture. Um, way too big for our scenes. So I want to make the height five centimeters. So that's a nice little, nice little size. I did the same for all of them. Um, there's our scene one, um, which was uh, the introduction, if you call the storyboard. So that's our introduction scene. Okay. Uh, the next scene was our house of straw scene. Uh, the next one was the house of sticks. Um, then we had the house, the house of bricks, um, and we finished off with. Okay, again, uh, to go to the next scene, just play it through, you play it, when you're ready hit space bar, and then we take a screenshot of that. So, uh, take a screenshot of that, and again, as with the other one, you can insert the pictures. And there's scene two, again I'm going to make it the same make it 5 so it's high I go to scene 3 do the same thing I've already saved the picture so it makes it a bit easier for us again click on the height and I'll make the height 5 centimeters oops missed it 5 centimeters yeah. oh so what's happening there so we go down to 5 centimeters let's go to the next one um, insert the next scene picture again it's about 5 centimeters so that's 5 centimeters now let's go to the final scene insert the picture of the final scene and again
guy and we're going to make that five centimeters. There it is. So that's all done. Now we do the write up. In this case, uh, I'm going to write down that, um, well, on the green flag, which is the start button, uh, the game commences with the following scenes. Okay, so we got that down there. Okay, so now we'll talk about what molding media. Well, after a few seconds, um, the space bar appears, giving Uh, the user the opportunity um, to go to the next scene. Uh, in this scene, let's put a scene wrong here. Uh, in this scene, um, oops. Background um, music commences. Um, the pigs breathe at different rates, and the wolf has its tail and face animated. Okay. Now we'll get the same. Um, I'll get the same format as that, so just copy that. I'll just get the format brush, make sure that it's the same format. There we go. Okay, we go to the next scene. Okay, in this scene here, uh, we do the following. Now, I'm going to type it in for you. In this scene, the wolf is talking to the pig with a, with a straw house to let it in, but the pig refuses. Multimedia elements, well, we've got a voiceover commences with a wolf talking to the pig and the pig responding. The background music continues from the first scene. The space bar appears after the voiceover is complete. So there's the background. I'll actually copy that because they're all very similar in the next two scenes. So copy that and I'll just put it across there. And all I have to do now is change it from straw to sticks. Very similar scene. So this scene, the wolf is talking to the pig with a stick house, right, um, to let it in, but the pig refuses, and the same thing happens. And we can say the same thing for the next scene. Okay, with a brick house. To let it in, etc. Now we're down to our final scene. Now we've got to cross pages, so what I might do is just click on there and insert a page break. So have three in that scene and have two in this scene. Okay. In this scene here, um, the house of um, the fun the final the end, the following happens. Let's have a look. Okay, there are several screenshots in this scene. There is the moral of the story. House of straw burning, house of stick burning, house of brick burning, and the end screen shot. Um, the modern media elements here the background music stops, a build drone is hit with every screen shot changeover, a voiceover reads the moral of the story, a wolf howls at the end of the screenshot. And that is your documentation. Thank you for watching.